My name is Magnus Kaspersen and I'm presenting the paper The Machine Learning Machine, a Tangible User Interface for Teaching Machine Learning. The paper was written by myself and my colleague from Aarhus University, Carl Emil Bilstrup and Marianne Graus Petersen. This research is part of the multidisciplinary SEED project at Aarhus University and is supported by a research grant from the Willem Foundation. Our motivation for this work comes from the widespread use of machine learning in society. It's everywhere and affects us in several ways, from recommendation algorithms on Facebook and Google, to machine learning systems supporting um, decision making in law enforcement and the judicial system. However, because machine learning is able to connect information in datasets too large for human comprehension, the inner workings of these systems are too complex for most, if not all of us, to understand. And because of this potential to affect our daily lives, it's important for children and young people to understand uh, machine learning and become able to take a critically informed stance about its use. Prior research on using tangible user interfaces in teaching situations suggests that they're effective in making otherwise intangible phenomena tangible. This could, for example, be machine learning. Thus, our goal with the machine learning machine was to make the machine learning process tangible, explorable, and, and understandable to users. And now for the main attraction of uh, this uh, presentation, the machine learning machine itself. Overall, the machine learning machine works as a typical image classifier, similar in concept to Google's uh, Teachable machine. Users provide a data set of two types of images or two classes of images. Um, these could be pictures of the sun and the moon, and then they, they classify each piece of, of data as belonging to one of the two categories. The machine learning machine itself consists of two interactive devices, the trainer for training machine learning models um, and the evaluator for evaluating these models. And then in addition, the machine learning model itself is represented by a physical artifact and students uh, use simple pen and paper to create data for the machine learning machine. To make the machine learning process tangible, we have simplified the machine learning process into four distinct steps, which are made tangible through interaction with the machine learning machine. First, we have problem solution. Here, users need to define a problem that's solvable using machine learning. In the case of the machine learning machine, this entails finding two classes of uh, motifs that users would like to be able to distinguish between. Next, users go on to create their data set and figure out the representation of their data. Um, for this, they use um, pen and paper to, to make drawings of the two motifs. And for good results, um, users need to produce between 5 and 10 uh, drawings of, of each class. Next, they go on to the training phase where each image is shown to the trainer and classified as belonging to one of the two classes. This creates a machine learning machine image classifier based on the data. Finally, students can evaluate the ability of their models to recognize new drawings by using the evaluator. Here, data that's not yet been um, shown to the trainer can be shown to the evaluator and used to evaluate the predictive abilities of the model. Based on the results of, of this, the users can repeat all these steps um, to iteratively improve the model's predictions. Here we see how this process looks from the perspective of the users. Um, and just a small note about uh, these images, uh, they're from an intervention we did um, with the machine learning machine after the paper was accepted for Thai, and, and that evaluation is not part of the paper. Um, but we still kind of see how the, how the students use um, the machine learning machine. So in the top left image, we see a group of children drawing suns and moons in order to have the machine learning machine recognized between them. Then on the top right, um, we see a child inserting these pictures into the machine learning machine in order to train uh, a model on them. Then the two bottom pictures shows uh, the students placing new drawings in the evaluator and pressing on the predict button on the front, um, which shows the students two numbers, um, which is um, the prediction of, uh, of, of each class. Um, and based on, on this prediction, um, students can then reflect on the performance of their models. It might be very good at recognizing moons, um, as it is in, in, in this case, but uh, it might perform worse when looking at the sun. 
In that case, students can go back to the drawing board and create more drawings of suns uh, in an effort to increase the model's performance. Apart from teaching the basic process behind creating machine learning models, a machine learning machine can also be used to teach critical aspects of machine learning. Here I'll give a short demonstration of how the machine learning machine can be used to demonstrate unintentional biases. To demonstrate this, we would ask users to create a model based on a dataset of suns and moons as seen here, with all suns drawn in one color and moons drawn in another color. Next, we ask students to evaluate the model's ability to recognize moons drawn in the same color as suns. Here, students will see that the model performs significantly worse. This is because the model did not actually learn to differentiate between drawings of suns and moons, but mainly um, to differentiate between the two colors used. Based on this realization, a classroom-wide discussion can be had about where this issue might occur. One example could be the racial bias in machine learning systems used in the judicial system in the United States, which has been shown to discriminate against black people. To evaluate the machine learning machine, we conducted a small preliminary pilot study with two male teenagers aged 15 and 19. Even though the study was only preliminary and no generalizations can be made from it, some interesting findings did occur. First, we found that um, the slow approach um, to interacting with machine learning, and especially um, in evaluating the models uh, in this very manual way, was beneficial in terms of spurring reflections during use. Um, the participants reflected on the difference between the classifications when using the evaluator and used this to figure out how to improve their models. This also ties into our second finding that the iterative nature of um, the machine learning machine allowed the users to transition between uh, ready-to-hand and present-to-hand interaction, um, which meant that they were in uh, kind of a continuous circle of, of reflection and, and doing. Finally, we found that while the participants were able to reflect on machine learning um, while using the machine learning machine, it was difficult for them to connect their experiences with the machine learning applications we use in everyday life. Um, we expect that this was due to the generic task we asked them um, to do, and we plan to further evaluate the machine learning machine with, with more situated tasks. All in all, I hope you find our work interesting and inspiring. Um, there's more to be found in the paper, so I do encourage you all to read through it. Um, and please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions regarding the work um, at any point. Thank you so much for listening.